Hello Internet, Matthew here with Whiteboard Hero, the show where I bring you an expert in the thing and they teach you about the thing. I'm here today with the effervescent Adam Schwalm and he is going to talk to you about... Planning an idea. Planning an idea. Okay, cool. So, let's go from concept to execution. Let's do this! Oh wait, we need a plan first. Well, first off, I thought I would have been maybe superfluous, or in this case... Superfluous? I mean, no, you're not superfluous. Pedantic? We'll go with that. Okay, I can do that. All right. So, um, let's talk about planning. Planning. Let's talk about business ideas. We okay. all have ideas all day long, good right. ideas, bad ideas. <gasps> I'm hungry now. I'm going to go out to eat. That's a great idea. It is a great Not idea. important for this conversation. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So, let's talk about ideas and planning. Okay, let's put this out over here. All right. Planning. I have to use the right. whiteboard. You have to time. use it at least once. I don't care if you write one thing. Look at that. All right. Actually neat. That's the neatest I've drawn today. Okay. He's working really hard at that. So I'm going to tell you about the way I operate. Okay. Okay. And everyone's a little different. Right. But I'm finding that um, planning for an idea, planning for almost anything, especially whether you have an idea, you got to write it out. Mm -hmm. and you can talk about the idea, but once you want to start planning for the idea, you actually have to start writing out, specifically in the planning stages. That is a different phone. And you know what? But that's definitely not for me. Okay, good. Okay, so maybe it's someone that has an idea and they want to help me plan. Okay, so um, plan. So what I like to do is I like to jot down thoughts. Okay. okay, just jot down thoughts. Now the best thing about jotting down thoughts, and by the way, it's actually best to do this in a computer environment as opposed to your phone because copying and pasting here and moving things is very important. Okay. All right, whether you have a subject, a topic, or bullet you know, points. Bullet point. Right. Bullet points, by the way, are the best thing ever. Because when you want to write something out, if you write out a long board sentence, blah 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 blah, no you one's ever going to read that. Neither will People you. People will read the first opening sentence, right. and then they're going to get lost. But if you bullet point stuff, by the way, they make cool different bullet points. They ones like this. They got ones like this. They got ones like this. Right. You really get into the graphics. Yeah, well, exactly. Get a little further in. A little further in. Bullet points are key. Topics, subtopics, mm -hmm. and subtopics. So it's an organized kind right. of Right, but idea. what's going to happen first is just jot them down. Mm -hmm. Just jot them down. Even if you're in the middle of the floor, jot the next one down. Jot it down even if it's two words because then you'll have it out. And what happens is, is that this leads into here, this leads into here, this leads into here. By the way, think about a project plan like your network. Mm -hmm. It grows. You got bubble here, bubble here, Smart. bubble here, bubble right, here, right, bubble right. here. And they all the interconnect. Thing. Right, exactly. Um, but I'm going to tell you the one thing about idea planning that no one's going to tell you. Every topic that you have in your plan, put someone's name you know next to that topic that can help execute or that may listen or understand. Or you know, may know people that can get you there. That part of the plan. It makes it come alive. Because by the way, in one of the earlier segments, we did talk about ideas and who to share them with. Mm -hmm. And you put the idea down in the planning stage, it makes it much clearer and a lot more focused when you have it laid out, even if it's small, a handful of bullet points, and be able to talk about that and share that with the particular people who can help bring that idea to fruition. Pedantic. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go a little bit further into this. Here, use a red one. Ooh. Colors, yeah. You know what? I kind of like blue. Blue? All right. Red is generally a um, ah. stop sign. But by the way, I'm going to tell you something interesting. What's right up? Now. So, um, planning the construction of this building, I mm -hmm. found out something interesting. Well, Green exit signs are legal. Okay. I always feel that exit sign, that red exit yeah. sign is like, that's not the right way to go. Green exit signs. This is the way out. That's right. And remember, someone had that idea, they planned for it, Right. they found out if it was legit, they made it, it part of their work. code, Right. and it works. And I'm finding out, boy, green exit signs look so cool. It's aesthetics is important. Sure. Especially when you get down to bullet points. Well, that's getting back to where I was before. Okay. So, if you use these bullet points, yeah. by the way, and that's something that I do in my writing, mm -hmm. I highlight, I bold. I italicize and I underline, okay? One thing I don't like is exclamation points. I hate exclamation points. Most people do too. 
Okay, so remember, it's about the planning. And the planning really requires jotting things down. Mm -hmm. And by the way, don't jot too much, right. but if you really have an idea and you wanna be able to transmit it to others, verbal is good, but the second you follow up with something even a little small like a plan, then people take you seriously. Because then you're not just all talk. Adam, really, really appreciate this. So from Matt and Adam, this has been another great episode of Whiteboard Hero, and we are here to remind you, side is. level up. Take care, everybody. Boom.